So they'll be calling you a radical. Somebody said to me, oh, you go to mask on. It's required on the fucking university. So this is extremely historical. Everybody get this backed up. Do you get this? I want people to realize that I'm not a vlogger. I'm a research PhD. I'm an activist. So probably the most important research PhD maybe in history. So let's stay with it on the Fukushima dumping. So can buck a fuck Buesler who belongs in a prison cell. He's out again, babbling his mouth. So listen, this is really important. So, so you know, they had a secret study in 2011, a bunch of different, they even got a website now and they have their pictures. I'm gonna post the pictures of these derelicts. Every one of these derelicts deserves to be in a prison. One of them's doing this in the photo. So they spent literally hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayers funded money. They're in the Pacific Ocean near Fukushima, Japan. Now stay with me, this is important. This is in the first freaking 90 days of Fukushima. They post the dates. They're there in June 2011. They've got a nice pretty page. They've got pictures, daily vlog, everything. But this is really historic important because their study, one of these people, one of these people, I don't know which one, but I'm pretty sure I know who leaked it to me. And I remember, because I used to get everything that says, Kevin, look at this here. I'm, I'm part of this group. Don't, you know, keep me anonymous. Well, it was anonymous anyway. And so... Before the conclusion was even written, he says, look at this. So now you go to the site and I have a, and you click onto the site, it redirects you. They've taken it down on their, you know, study on the bioscience freaking link. They've moved it. They've, but guess what? I'm way ahead of those fuckers. I have it printed word for word. I have it backed up in many multiple places. I even have a, a secret historical file at the New York City Library, which they, for these very reasons, I bought one, put it in. I have all this shit. I got them so fucking nailed. And I'll tell you what, it'll come a time. These people are going to be tried. Ken Buckafuck Boozer belongs in a prison cell. So, hear me this, and I'll read this. It's right there. Everybody get it backed up. In their study, they're using sample sets. There's testing for trinium, cesium, all the usual suspects. So, it says, the three different sample sites, we show background. Now, you do know what background levels. I don't think I have to go back and reinvent the background level. You know, bikini atolls, you know, we already contaminated the hell out of her. The background levels. That's what it normally should be. When we, it's well documented, we know what those are. The first sample set, 25 kilometers off the coast of Fukushima, 40 meters down. I'm gonna print it. You guys get it, everybody get it and back it up. They don't think I have it. Oh, I have it. The cesium, the iodine, double the background levels. Two times the background levels, the first sample set. That's enough to scare the fuck out of you. Oh, it gets better. Second, second sample set, 50 times the background. That's enough to just mass murder the entire Pacific Ocean. Now remember, this is in June 2011. They've been dumping for 3,500 days, so do the math. And you wonder why all the tide pools are dead. You wonder why all the salmon's collapsed. You wonder why these dare. And the thing that's irony about this, and it gets better, is they secretly met right here, right here, Salt Lake City, Utah. When I'm right here, I'm right here, probably the most important research PhD maybe in history. I'm right here under their feet. Oh, yeah, I would have loved to show up there with my freaking, ask Allison McFarland, ask the NRC, ask Trump, ask them all. They've all had to face me. Third sample set, 1,000 times. You heard me right, it's right there, forgotten everybody and I print. They're trying to hide it now. This was before their conclusion was even written, I got it. Then when the conclusion was written, the same whistleblower sent it to me. Our conclusion is that the contamination is already into the wall, water column and into the biosphere. No turning back. That's Ken Buckafuck Buse. And I want to show you this picture. I'm going to put this picture everywhere. In fact, I, one of my books, this will be the cover. 
These are some of the greatest criminal derelicts who ever walked the face of the earth. Now, I know for a fact, because I have the transcript from inside the Situation Room. I have it. Buesler, I've got it. Inside the Situation Room, they were consulting with all these freaks. Remember, he was crowdfunding, getting money. It's outrageous. And by the way, I just, I, I depend on crowdfunding, you know, and I need some funding. You know, I'll be in D.C. soon, but I need funding. You know, I've run this on a shoestring. Now, remember, I've done all this while I'm full of cancer, fighting for my life. I was given too much to live. I went in the bone marrow transplant center on 11-11. Think about that. Think about that. My tide pool work, talk about historic. My salmon work, what have they done? Sucked money. Do you know a woman left in the Who's, not to be confused with Who's. This is the Who's Institute in Massachusetts. She left $10 million in endowment to protect the ocean and fight for the ocean. Do you know Ken Buesler blew every dime of it? God, he's a creep, ain't he? Oh my God, these people are beyond creepy. I, I, you know, the Trump administration just dueling out more money. I mean, so inside the situation room, they're all arguing and fighting. The Admiral, they've already sent, the United States sent it. The United States completely runs Fukushima. They sent in 32 ships to entomb Fukushima. That's an arguable fact. Barack Obama backed them out on the advice of John Holder. Now, Gregory Jacka was inside the situation. He was head of the NRC. He cowered down like a little, you know, baby and just cried in the corner. He didn't do anything. You know, the Joint Chief of Staff's in there. Japan's beamed in there. All the experts, Ken, or uh, John Holdren, who's the, he was Obama's head of Obama science and technology team. Remember the eugenicist? Look him up. He's a professor at Harvard right now. The girl that got the interview one and that blew the whistle on it, I'm the one that put her up to it. Inside the Situation Room, and it's classified, but I could talk about it because Buesler talked about it now. I've run this by attorneys. The Admiral says, we're entombing it. Holden says, no, no, if you entomb this, you're going to open this up and the world's going to know that these are full, they knew that these were full blown out downs within hours. They lied the whole time. And it wasn't about panic, it was about protecting the nuclear energy crime syndicate, just like Buesler, just like the rest of them. They argued and argued and argued. The Admiral, the Navy Admiral, was animate about entombing this. Now, remember Cartwright was going to be the new Joint Chief of Staff, the Marine. Obama leaned on him a lot inside there. Obama was green as grass. Remember, Obama was propped up by the nuclear, but he was green as grass inside the Situation Room. The Japanese are saying, no, 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 you know. And so then they says, we got to get water on this. We need to send in the Reagan. It's right there. Well, the Admiral's adamant. No, you'll radiate all those guys. You'll kill them. You know, they'll all get cancer. And he was adamant. No, 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 no. They argued, no, 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 no. Oh, he sent them in. For whom the bell tolls. You can cover up this for a freaking 3,500 days, but... You didn't, you've underestimated me. So, I didn't even know this till recently, that this term, make it so, is from like an old Star Trek thing, because I'm not a Star Trek. I live in the reality of the... Life is stranger than fiction. This is the countdown to these scumbags. I love it, they meet right here in Salt Lake. So, well, they're arguing. Holden goes home. Been there nine hours arguing. They call him back. We want to send the raid, put water. Cartwright, make it so. Now, this litigation has been pouring through San Diego. I've been there the whole time. I mean, what a dog and pony show that's been. They, I mean, you know how many of those sailors are dead? I mean, I never, you'd get, I've interviewed so many of their parents, so many different people on this. So... Make it so. So it went on that Holden told them they had the nanotechnology. Now, you have to know that this has nothing to do with the Japanese government. The United States is TEPCO. The United States, Yalta by the Sea, they completely control Fukushima, Japan. The only thing Barry Antoinette Obama ever said true, these trees were sung long before I was freaking born. You know, World War, you know, 
Russia took Eastern Europe, the United States took Japan. They're running that freaking... So they said they had the nanotechnology. I was in front of the White House in 2013, in November, when they retooled this whole thing. And secretly, they called in TEPCO. I have video. I'm standing right there. There come the TEPCO executives right into the White House. We're standing right there, our group, videoing it. I went inside the Department of Energy that day. Obama realized he'd been had. He knows this. He knows all this, that he'd been had. That they didn't, and it didn't work. So they completely retooled. We're the ones that got the screen capture of the jet flying through Fukushima with the, you know, dishes getting the elements. We have it all. I mean, I have all this. You know, they can go ahead and kill me, do whatever, because I have it so backed up, I have it around. Here's some more of it. Back it up. He knew he'd been had. It didn't work. So they went in and tried. You know, they're trying the homeless, they're trying everything. These people freaking knew. They knew right off the get. Oh, we had a freaking meeting, secret meeting, right here in Salt Lake. Yay. Right here where Kevin Blanche is fighting for his life full of ammo leukemia. You know, I do my work here at Weber State University. Like I said, I'm probably the most famous research PhD in history. You know, the work that I did, first you hypothesize the knowledge. You know, then you do the field work. Then you defend your work. So it's right there. So this, uh, they're going to dump the takes. You read this and you tell me. They've never got to handle it. It's the greatest event in human history. It's the greatest crime in human history. So then Trump becomes president. Abby, I'm at the White House that night when he lost, I mean, stole the election. Then I took the bus in the middle of the night. I'm in New York City when Abby came into Trump Towers. I'm there. I'm right there. There's videos all over. You know, the whole meeting in Mar a Lago. Somebody says, well, maybe Trump's just ignorant. Well, no. Trump was asked by our group, what about Fukushima? If you get in a car wreck, you don't stop driving. I says, it does if it kills you. This is the greatest crime in human history, the greatest event in human history. And here it is. This study is out. Now, you go to their websites now. They've told it used to redirect you. But guess what? Oh, I beat them to as their own game because I have it. Now, I'm going to print it. I'm going to put it in the tags. You guys get it. Grab it. Everybody. You back it up. You put it anywhere you can put it. Get it out there. Stay in tune.